guys, today I'm coming at you with a room makeover. It's been quite a while since I've done one and here I am coming at you with another one. So today we're actually doing a makeover of the guest bedroom in my house, which <laughs> we've had our house for a while and we haven't gotten to setting up our guest room yet. So today we are finally doing that and I'm going to be showing you the whole process of redoing the room completely. We basically need to do everything to it from scratch. Let's get going. The very first step to the makeover was painting the walls. They were a very ugly, not a pretty color of brown that had to go. So we painted the walls white as they are now. It looks seriously so much better, like 10 times better. It's amazing just how much painting the walls made a difference to the room. Huge glow up already. <laughs> also, I'm so sad. I filmed showing painting the whole room and taping it and the whole process, but the footage got deleted on accident. <laughs> Anyways, the next step was to get a bed, which we did, and it's all set up now. I wasn't here when it got set up. Before the bed was here, we just had two mattresses stacked up. It wasn't really an actual bed at all, but it worked. Let's see, we got the paint, the bed. Now it's time to add in the rest of the furniture and basically assemble the room. <laughs> side tables to go with the bed and then we already had a dresser and a desk that actually used to be in my old room so we put those in as well hey what's up on some rods that went in between the shelves that were already built in to the room. I'll link the curtains down below. We got them from Costco. They're light blocking curtains, which is so nice because then it keeps the light out when the sun comes out in the morning. After all of the basics were set up in the room, it was time to go decor shopping for it and get some decorations. is supposed to be farmhouse because we do live in Texas and we thought that that would be fun so then when guests come over it's kind of Texas-y but the only problem is my mom my sister and I are all designing this room and we all have pretty different styles somehow we managed to make it work we had to go through a lot of options of each thing right now we're in Hobby Lobby I'm with my mom and sister and we just have to try to compromise on what decor we're getting we can make like a little gallery wall above the bed we can put the oh, cow yeah. and, and the birds yeah That'd be fun. Oh, you should get a cow. Uh, Do you I like this? I still like the watercolor one the best though. This is cute though. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. On the wall, they have the, the it's like the half vase. Half vase. <laughs> oh. Okay, see here they did two on each side of the BR guest. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, That's we should do that. Do you like that, Sylvia? Let's get the blue blanket. Okay. Or do we want to get, well, I'll just hold is this it, one, but is it soft whoa. enough though? Wait, we can look. They'll have more. Oh, they have more here, I think. Oh, I love this. Yeah, let's get it. But it's great. We decided that the color, or the main like accent color for the guest room is going to be blue. And we're all happy with that. We have like a light blue throw blanket and then two big light blue throw pillow covers as well. That's what we have so far. After we went to Hobby Lobby, we ran into At Home. The next store we swung into was uh, At Home. They have like the biggest throw pillow section. This is crazy. Ooh, there's red. They have so many of every shade. Oh my gosh. So do you want to do that then? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, cool. We finally made a decision. <laughs> Bye. Thanks to Sylvia. I don't really like this trim. Plus it says natural ingredients and that just, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a room, it's a bedroom. I'm trying to think, did we get anything there? I think, I don't remember. Maybe we got something. I, I don't, I really don't remember. So we'll put it on the screen what it was if we did. I'll talk to you guys again in another day, probably this weekend, when we have some more decorations and are actually putting those up. Officially another day and now we're actually putting up some of the decorations. On this weekend we first hung up a tapestry above tapestry. Is it? I don't even hold on. Hey Siri, how to say tapestry? Sure. Translate into which language? English. Tapestry. Tapestry. Okay, cool. We found out how to say it. So we hung up a tapestry above the door that goes to the bathroom. The bathroom does have another entrance outside of the room, so we're just gonna use that. 
we also hung up a sign above the bed and then we put in the two wall vases on each side of it and put some flowers in there that we got from Ikea. <music> ended up looking really nicely it went perfectly above the bed and yeah so that was all for this day welcome to a new day we're going to be setting up the bed hanging up some wall pieces and putting out some extra decorations so first off we got the lamps and there's two of these we're gonna place them on each side table on both the sides of the bed We also hung up some wall pictures above the dollhouse as well. We have the cow, a pig, and a welcome y'all sign. So very farmhousey and Texasy um, to fit the vibe for anyone coming here. The last thing we did this day was set up the bed. So I ironed the duvet cover and put it on the comforter, and then we put that on the bed. We also put on the two big throw pillows that we got from IKEA, as well as a be our guest pillow in front of that. Should we fold it? Fold. Try folding it. Oh, okay, that, that looks good. good. Yeah. Oh, this looks so like hotel. I know, it really does. Sing over this. I'll try. <laughs> My great irony job. It looks so good on camera. What the heck? Awesome. Oh wait, it looks really good in real life too. <laughs> oh my gosh, it matches the lamps perfectly. <laughs> oh, these are wrinkly. Yeah, mom already ironed them and they got wrinkly again. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, so can I just bring cute. in the throw blanket too? Yes, yeah, we need the throw blanket. So satisfying ripping these. <laughs> Leslie, don't rip. It's like plastic. It's not I paper. Know. Be our guest. Looks good. Yeah. Okay. So our work's done here. Yep. <laughs> our work's done here. Our work here is done. Peace. <laughs> Everything ties together with the bed and the lamps and the whole area definitely kind of has a hotel vibe with just like the striped duvet cover and just the look of it. Today is the last day of working on the room, so it was the day to put up all the extra decorations that we had. First off, I set up the shelf above the windows. This is a very big part of the room because it's what you see when you first walk in. that I put up we have some bins that are kind of like um burlap baskets I don't even think they're burlap but we put some baskets up there I also put some of the decorations from Hobby Lobby after that I moved on to the shelf above the dresser last area I was planning on doing so I just saved some of the decorations for this and just rearranged them on the shelf. Okay yeah this looks a lot better and I think it goes a lot better with the room. Cool. <laughs> I put up Rocky! Hey! What's up? Our base like neutral colors are white, brown, and gray but we also have blue, pink, and Red. So I had to figure out how to tie that into the shelf as well. I did mostly gray and brown with a little bit of white And then I also added in a red flower The last thing I did was just put in a vase with some flowers on the desk as well as a candle And then we were all done with the room. We finished it. So that's cool Oh, also I forgot to say this but I did put something on the bottom of each side table on the left side We have a basket and on the right side. We have another blue throw blanket. Anyways, that is all for this room We are officially done setting it up. We've been working on like decorating it for a month, which is a long time. Here are some before and after shots of before it was painted. This is actually a different room, so that's why the window is a little closer to the wall, but this is the exact color. Here's basically what it looks like after it was painted and then once it was all set up.
bedroom makeover. It looks so, so much better than how it was when we first started. If you want to see some more room makeovers, I'll have a playlist with some of them linked down below. I've done a multiple to my room and they're very modern. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my socials. I have Instagram and Twitter and love talking to you guys there. I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> um. Yes! Tapestry, tapestry, whichever one it is, I don't even know. What do you want? <laughs> I need decoration. It's so random. Is it for inside a plant? Like, what do you put this in? Uh, I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure it's a water thing. Burlap, knitted, not knitted. Burlap, twine, not twine. Okay, that's some good footage, right? Yeah. <laughs>